At Farm Show this year, we have a range of our heavy mounted display products um, from heavy mounted displays for soldiers, for helicopter pilots, and also for fast jet pilots. And that, that encompasses our Q Site family products, Q Warrior, and then Striker. And this year, we launched the Striker 2, which is our latest generation visor projected heavy mounted displays. Well, heavy mounted displays are, are relatively new, so within the, the last 20 years, you've really seen the, the birth of those HMDs. And it's really only now that they're becoming relatively common. And it's, it's it's inconceivable really for a, a fast jet or a, a complex helicopter that a, that a helmet mounted display wouldn't really be part of that aircraft. So they're relatively new. Head up displays have certainly been around a lot longer. The head up display was putting that information within the line of sight of the pilot, but it was only down the, down the nose of the aircraft, i.e. bore sighted. So wherever he flew the aircraft, wherever he looked, he had that information. Of course, if he looked away, he lost it. Helmet mounted display, take that same concept put it in his line of sight wherever he looks. So he now has the information, you know, even if he's not looking straight down the nose of the aircraft, and if for example he's using it as a target acquisition system, a weapon aiming system, again now he can start to do what we call off bore sight weapon location. So he can look up, down, even over his shoulder, his head motion is tracked, and he can acquire targets off bore sight, which is uh, an immense increase in the capability of a weapon system. This is our Striker 2 helmet mounted display. It's a system that builds on the advanced technology that's currently flying around on aircraft like Eurofighter Typhoon. We've taken all the advantages of that system and taken it to the next level. So this particular helmet, we've made it a lighter weight shell by changing the shape and design. That reduced weight enables us to put in additional technology to give further capability enhancements to the aircrew. That ranges from taking the high spec optical tracking systems on the helmet to augment it with an inertial navigation system such that we can predict where the pilot's looking, which removes all latency from the pilot display. So when they move their head, all the information they're receiving is instantly in front of their eyes, it's rock solid. You then have full digital display now. So onto the curved visor here, we can project a high resolution display. In terms of video, you're talking about putting high definition video on there, right down to the lowest sensor resolution. It's completely resolution independent. We can take all the information that the pilot would normally look into the cockpit for and put it up onto the visor. One of the additional things, sorry, we can also put in is the night vision camera system. So we can bet a camera in there which negates the need to use night vision goggles. The problem with night vision goggles is they put a lot of forward weight on the helmet, put a lot of strain on the pilot's neck and limit the moving capabilities of the aircraft. By having the embedded night vision camera, we can then put that display on the visor, it's embedded in the helmet the balance is perfectly correct still, and it takes away all that forward weight, and it lets them fly at everything they're doing day at night. Uh, the system we have here is a Q-Warrior system, which is part of an integrated soldier system that we have here. It's designed to be a line of sight transparent display for soldiers. Soldiers are going to want some information in the line of sight, and some more information on a head down display. This will be giving to the map information, this will be giving targeting, and navigation information such as the direction and their uh, position. It's a transparent display which is based on a holographic waveguide, a technology that was originally developed for pilots flying helicopters. All the data appears conformally overlaid on the target because it also has a head tracking system based on a number of sensors which do GPS, geomagnetic and inertia. The target is really forward air controllers, uh, possibly police later on, fire brigades, so it's both military and civil applications. At the moment it's at the technology demonstrator level, but we've got high hopes that there is a good future for technologies like this as we spin them out from the aerospace industry into the wider defence and security. Yeah, what we see here is the uh, same idea, but for the commercial world, where they have a different needs, uh, where the fighters need to slay weapons and to uh, provide SA to the pilot. Uh, with a commercial solution, the main objective is to land in safe where we are, the passenger will feel uh, comfortable and will be able to land in adverse weather. So we developed that uh, new kit that enables the pilot to uh, go and land in much uh, worse weather and we are projecting the pilot all the information needed uh, on top of the visor. Uh, what you see here is uh, our latest head-up display, a solution that we developed for a large cockpit commercial aircraft, which basically doing the same, 
Uh, it's a very wide field of view, uh, very high resolution and high brightness. Uh, this hub will enable to present uh, the EVS camera and the enhanced visual system camera. It enables the pilot to see the runway much uh, ahead of time before he can pick it with his uh, bare eyes. Uh, the Farnborough Air Show, Talis was very proud to uh, make a press announcement that basically says that after a full and open competition, we were selected for the helmet mounted display for the Airbus helicopters, or primarily weaponized helicopter systems. Scorpion system mounts on a standard helmet, so it's a very simple mechanical interface on whichever helmet is selected. The two major elements include the electro-optical system and, and the uh, inertial optical tracker. So the optical system is based on what was originally developed for consumer electronics, uh, consumer display systems, and it's light optical waveguide technology, full 24-bit color, uh, high resolution. The, uh, the tracker is inertial optical, it runs 100% the whole time on, on inertial and is periodically calibrated using the camera. So you could run this outside of the umbrella of the fiducials and it would still, still track accurately with very slow degradation. And immediately you come back underneath within a fifteenth of a second and recalibrate.